G'day, been working. And today I pruned the hedge of a book leaf pine tree. And I'm just going to add some different products. There's some lactobacillus made from yogurt. There's some lactobacillus made from rice. There's seaweed extract. This is the seaweed that I made up from seaweed sheets. And I've got some bokashi juice out of the bottom of a bokashi bucket. I've got a couple of them. I've got one that was a homemade one out of sawdust. That's why it's a bit red. And I've got another one over there which is made with bokashi bran. So we're just going to add these together. I've got some molasses as well and I'm just going to mix it up in a bucket put it in a sprayer spray it over the top of the book leaf pine needles fronds or whatever you like to call them and uh, pack them in some plastic bags and then uh, let them ferment for a while okay I'm back I've stirred up all the goodies put them in a bucket, it's a bit dark not really worried about it and I'm just going to pour it into the sprayer and then spray it all over the leaves ok I'm back, I've filled up my spray bottle and I'm just going to spray the top here for a start it'll be nice and sticky full of microbes Laughing. Um, I'm going to start putting it into the bag so I'll be back. Okay, that's just the ones I've put the spray over. They're the first ones to go in the bag. Now I'm just going to lay it, layer the rest of the leaves on top and then just spray liberally until it's full. I'll be back. Okay, I filled the bag and I'm just giving it a last dose. I've been pushing down as I'm going along. Sorry for the edge trimmer in the background but you get that now I've been pressing down on this pretty tight I had double bagged it and now I'm going to seal it up with some with a plant tight and I'm going to try and squeeze as much air as possible out okay that's the bag closed up I'm just going to put that in a 44 gallon drum or 250 litre drum and take it out in three weeks and put it on the gardener's mulch. Three weeks later, all the needles are fermented. It smells very much like menthol and a bit whiny in there, so it's fermented down a bit. I don't know how good this picture is going to be, but bear with it. And here's some that I've done previously. Just under some azaleas that I've got. And I pull back some of this. So it's our winter time here, but the rain's been off. But that's pretty wet down there and spring bugs and well, spring tail bugs in there. It's very wet there. Just gonna add this to the rest of the bed. Okay, this is just a view underneath the azaleas. I've just gone right in underneath. Azaleas are pretty shallow rooted, so they need to be moist all the time, but they also like acidic conditions. So the pine needles, fronds, whatever you like to call them, should be ideal for setting up those conditions. And I might chuck some cow manure in later on but for the time being I'm not going to worry about it. A uh, good thing about this is they're free. I, I actually get paid to take them away so and it's a natural resource at home and uh, it's a 39 metre hedge so it's quite a distance it's about 45 yards and uh, I can also use this 
for some camellias I've got out the front too is as the supply comes along and it's not that hard to ferment them down a little bit they uh, will break down a bit quicker in the garden but that doesn't matter because I'll always have a supply <laughs>